This is something we've all heard a million times, especially for travel videos, that no matter what you create or how good it is, it's absolutely meaningless if it doesn't tell a story. And I just don't agree with that. But before you click out of the video, let me explain to you what I mean. And I mean, that's not bad advice, right? Like you can't expect to make an impact by making a video that's nothing more than beautiful shots and dope ass editing. That's like making food that looks pretty but has no actual flavor. But the issue is that at the same time, many of our favorite videos and many of the most meaningful videos don't actually tell a story. There's no linear progression of events throughout the video, but there's more to them than just nice visuals. And that's the concept, the idea behind the video. Concept is the key word of this video. Simply put, it's the point of your project, what it's about and the idea behind it. And that can be a story, but it can be other things too. A concept could be a unique visual style or the use of certain camera gear to create a video. It could be a unique spin on a pre-existing idea. The concept of putting a twist on an already existing idea is something we're seeing a lot of lately in lockdown with people creating these interesting little videos and photos doing things that they would normally do in the outdoors inside their homes, like camping uh, in their home. Nice. I'll see you in the morning. So let's take a look at some of my own films as examples. First, Iceland. This is a perfect example of a travel video with no story and no concept. It doesn't have either. It's just cool visuals and cool editing and nothing more. Then New York, a little more recent. This one doesn't have a story still. There's no progression of events, but I didn't get the comments that you would often get on a travel video about people complaining that there is no story because it has a strong concept. It's about seeing New York City from five different perspectives and that concept, that idea behind it holds the video together even when there's no story. And finally, Sounds of the Pacific Northwest, my most recent travel video that more of you have probably seen. And this is a good example of a video with a concept and a story. The concept is exploring the Pacific Northwest through sound and making a travel video driven by sound rather than visuals. And the story is simply just the progression of events of us going on a road trip. Having a concept or a story or both adds so much to a video, but I understand why it's daunting for a lot of filmmakers starting out because it seems like you're adding this extra layer onto work you're already doing that's already at a certain level of difficulty and you're just adding a whole other factor into it. But I think it's actually the opposite. But a lot of the time, having a solid concept behind your video actually makes the process a lot faster and easier because it guides you through your creative decisions. So for example, with the New York video, I came home with two and a half months of footage from New York, an insane amount and diversity 
of clips, but having a solid concept of how I wanted to edit before I got into Premiere Pro gave me a way to organize that footage and edit it all together in a relatively short amount of time. And for the Pacific Northwest project, the concept was kind of what guided my creative decisions through planning, shooting, and editing. So creating a video is essentially the what, the concept is the why, and that concept guides you through the how. So if you don't have a concept behind your video, you're essentially missing that why step, right? So you have the what, but that's not enough to make an entire video off of. That's just the visuals and editing. And because you don't have that why step, it's really difficult and incoherent trying to figure out the how. And once you get used to working with a solid concept behind your videos and making all your creative decisions that way, it seems almost impossible to do it without one because you look back and you realize that you were just making those creative decisions based on nothing. So say what you will about story, but I think concept and story are ultimately intention behind your film. And that's what should really be king when you're making something. That's the absolutely indispensable factor of a great project is the intention behind it. So next time you start working on a new video or film, ask yourself why you're doing it and then let that tell you how to do it. You know, in my time here on YouTube, I've had a lot of different concepts and this is definitely not the best one. You guys better like the hell out of this video. <sighs> tent set up. Andy's a little intrigued by my tent shenanigans, but I think he's enjoying the show.